Good day, everyone. Are you dealing with complex data across multiple systems, both on-premises and in the cloud? Join me as we dive into how Azure Data Factory can streamline your data orchestration using self-hosted integration runtime and Azure IR. From moving raw data to transforming it into actionable insights with a medallion architecture, I will show you how to make the most out of your data journey with Azure Data Factory. Let's get started. Imagine you have uh, multiple uh, applications um, that is being supported by uh, your team. Yeah. So now let's consider you have um, uh, application one, uh, application uh, two, application three, and uh, so on. Yeah. Uh, with most running on premises while others operate in the cloud. Yep, these applications are diverse, handling different tasks and storing data in a variety of systems, including uh, Oracle, um, uh, Oracle DB2, uh, SQL Server, um, Postgre, and even CSV files. Yep, given their differences, managing and integrating data from these sources can be complex. This is where Azure Data Factory comes in. ADF acts as a data orchestrator capable of pulling data from various systems. In this scenario, I will use Azure Data Factory to extract data from on-premises systems using the self-hosted integration runtime. Azure Data Factory will then employ tools like Databricks and um, uh, copy data uh, pipelines to transform uh, the data according to the specific business requirements. Let's take a closer look at uh, SHIR. In uh, ADF, uh, we have uh, uh, two key components. Yeah? Uh, one is uh, uh, SHIR, which is your self-hosted uh, integration runtime. And uh, another one is the Azure IR, which is your Azure integration runtime. With SHIR, you set up a virtual machine where you install the necessary software. Yep. So if you look at uh, my system, I have uh, several uh, integration runtimes. So one is uh, uh, self-hosted integration runtime here. Yeah, if you see the type here, it is showing as self-hosted. And then I have close to three um, Azure managed IR. Yeah. So now if I click on this uh, self IR here, uh, you will be able to see that I have two nodes as far as the self IR is concerned, which are JBADBVM and uh, JBADBVM1. So what I've done, I have uh, installed uh, uh, the integration runtime software uh, within this uh, VMs. And this is like, for example, if one uh, uh, VM goes down, then the other one will take over. Now, when both the VMs are available, then uh, both these VMs will uh, service uh, the request that is coming from the ADF. Yeah? Once installed, this software acts as an intermediary facilitating data transfers from on-premise environments to Azure Data Factory. This is typically done through a secure connection like Express Route or a site-to-site -site VPN. The VMs are strategically placed in location where the data resides. For instance, if you want to demonstrate moving data from your laptop to your Azure storage account, you would install SHIR on your laptop. This allows Azure Data Factory to move the data from your laptop to the specified storage in uh, Azure. This process integrates seamlessly with the medallion architecture where data is categorized into bronze, silver, and gold stages. Bronze data represents raw, unprocessed information, the initial point of entry where data is directly copied from various sources to your storage solution. It includes unrefined data from multiple tables that may need to be joined or processed further. For instance, in our case, we have raw data stored in the bronze layer. Next, Databricks comes into play, picking up this raw data and transforming it into silver data. At this stage, basic validations and business logic are applied, such as ensuring that fields like date of birth is not null or that the bank, bank balances are uh, correctly populated with positive, zero or negative values 
and never live, left as null. Silver data essentially serves as delta or staging tables ready for further transformations. Finally, we advance to the gold stage, uh, that is the gold data stage. Here, the silver data undergoes further processing, such as aggregation, and is stored in its final form in an Azure storage account, SQL database, or Synapse, depending on your needs. Gold data represents the polished product ready for consumption by your application. It's important to note that the term bronze, silver, and gold are merely labels. We have assigned to different stages of data processing. Typically, uh, these different stages could be stored within the same storage account, but organized into several containers labeled bronze, silver, and gold, or you can save it in different places. But uh, the understanding is that these are just mere labels. Now let's discuss the difference between SHIR and Azure integration runtime. SHIR is primarily uh, designed to uh, connect on-premises sources to Azure, while it can also connect to Azure resources. This is not generally recommended due to the potential performance limitations compared to Azure IR. On the other hand, Azure IR is uh, specifically built for connecting to Azure resources, establishing a direct one-to-one -one connection between ADF and the Azure resources. This makes Azure IR faster and more efficient for the cloud native scenarios. This video covers the theoretical concepts to help you understand the basics. Starting with the next video in this series, we will dive into hands-on practice and learn by doing in the lab. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.